Christ. I thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for today we're here in London, raining day, but to God be the glory, to God be the honor. And uh, it's good to just appreciate each and every one of us. Yesterday, the men met as usual. It was fantastic. And I think it's the last meeting for the year. And I was there because, oh my goodness. And that's why, I do, that's why at times I do encourage people, each and every one of us, to always be in a place of prayer. And uh, so I welcome you once again. And uh, I wish and I pray by January next year you join. Uh, because the men program are... Uh, we will take a break till next year. You, you have men, you have women. Um, but it, it's good a lot to pray, especially at this end time. Be not be deceived. The end time has begun, and anything can happen. So you should be, you should find yourself more in a place of prayer than in the in a, in a place of party, in a place of dancing a jasco or disco or eating and whining. Because in the scripture, it was clear when. Noah, the flood came. People were partying. And the flood came. Just like I now, some of the pastors, some people are preaching at my end time. Many of you are, you, you, some ignore it. Even pastors ignore it. And the end will come eventually. Like I said, life began one day. Life more end one day. Everything that has a beginning has an end. It is only God that has no beginning. He has no end. And that's why we said, you are God from the beginning to the end. There's no room for argument. You are God by yourself. But I'm coming. I'm coming. Quiet. Now, follow me. And that is why you, you be, find yourself in a place of prayer. And the church, they don't pray, my brother, my sister, disappear. Because the end time is coming. You need to clear your ways. When people die, they go to somewhere. You, 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 you either go to heaven or hell. There is heaven, there is hell. Be not be deceived that hell or heaven is something imaginary. No! Everybody came from a town. Every person came from a country. Every person came from a village. Every person came from a, a household. So or so, me and you. Some, come, some came, some of us are from Nigeria, some of us are from Ghana, some of us are from Europe, some of us are from Cameroon, some of us are from Chad, some of us are from US, some of us are, are from Russia, some of us are all parts of the world. You came from somewhere. Equally to spiritually, we must go back. The, the, this world is a journey. And that's why the Bible says, we came with nothing, we will go with nothing. Certainly. Of course, you will prosper, it shall be well, so that you can meet your immediate needs as you search ahead. All right? Now, uh, but I think I will, still, I will soon update you with the end of year program, especially in January. Make sure. But towards this end of the year, if you can, please, we are praying. Try and be in any of our programs. Any person that will join us in our Thanksgiving. I think I said it last week, or the other, this week. Somebody called for a testimony. He said since he came from Germany to join us in our Thanksgiving, that her life has be, become eventful. I look, once I say something, I talk to I am talking to you prophetically. So be part of our service. We have our Thanksgiving for January for next week, 26th of November. So tomorrow is Sunday. If you can we go to church, but of course we have our usual service on uh, uh, nine o'clock in the morning, the first service to eleven thirty and from twelve to two PM. Wednesday, I've taken a new turn. Please, if you know you are being tormented, demonic forces are fighting you. You can't sleep. You can't understand your life. You can't understand why you are where, what you are. You live in fear, in bondage. That is where what we do Wednesdays. Let me stop so far because I know it is well, and the choir is waiting, and I'm sure you will be blessed. 
So quiet, I'm with you. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. You 
are God from the beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God by yourself. I don't know who is looking at me. I, I had now, I had a crowd. I had that God has answered you. There is joy in heaven over somebody there. I don't know who you are. You are determined to make heaven. You, are, you have changed your lifestyle. You are looking at me. The heaven is clapping for you. I don't know you. Heaven is clapping. I can hear the clap in heaven and the shout of joy. I don't know who you are. And if you want heaven to clap for you and to rejoice, all you need to do is to say that Jesus come into my life and be my Lord and personal Savior and make effort to follow him. Underline the word. I said, make effort. Not be, you can't be perfect in one day. Nobody is perfect, including me. But the grace is there for me and for you. And the grace is available. If you can tap into the grace, it shall be fantastic. I don't know who you are. Heaven must clap for you. Heaven must rejoice. I just heard some clap in the heavenly realm. It, it means that that what you have ordained and prayed for, God has answered. Now, the, note what I said. Judgment is coming to men of God in, in, in Britain. Two of them must be exposed. Two of them. Two of them. And you will know. I said so. You will know. Thirdly, I don't know who you are. Nobody can, can shortchange your son or your daughter. Even you. Even you as a father or as a mother. You can never use your children or any child under the influence of my voice. Any person that will fight me and you. Fight our children because of us. Or for any other reason, for that matter. My father and my own. I make a decree that every enchantment, every divination, every plan to short change or to cut short the life of your child or your daughter or your son or to use the star, it will never be successful. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus. And let the angels of God Fight every hidden battle. Every behind the scene battle. Against me, against you. Against your children. Against your beloved ones. They will know that there is God who rules in the affairs of man. And I like that scripture. He said there is God whose name alone is Jehovah. I can hear. I can hear. I can hear Romans 4, 17. I can hear it now. He said, God calls those things that are not as if they are. So I decree that what you expect from God, where there's no hope, if you know there's anything, there's no hope, only God can help you. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hand. Father, I had that word. I had it. That you call it those things that are not as if they are. I don't know what you want to do, but I decree in a name. Above every other name, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let that which is impossible to man, of course, always possible to you. Father, promote Jesus in the life of one family looking at me. Let them know that Jesus is real. Father, give that young child a new heart, a new heart. Your son will not die of that heart disease. He will live and not die. I soak you all in the blood of Jesus. Every eye see me. You will see the end of the year in Jesus' tarries, And you enter into 2018 with laughter. I have said so in Jesus' name. And make sure you are part of the program. Make sure if whether you are in Germany, anywhere you are, before the end of the year, if you know something you need to see me for, not to see me personally, just come for service and I touch. Because yesterday, yeah, 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 yeah. Yesterday night, I had a revelation. People came all over, all over, all over, from Nigeria, all over the world. All they needed to do is for me to say a word. I don't know, I don't know the meaning, but it implies to 
Just be under the influence of the church after prayer go. You don't even need to see me. Even when choir, the choir people are singing, you will know that there is presence of God because in, in his presence, there is miracle. Now, in the hollow, no, I got to preach. In the hollow of his hands, you know, at times I love it. In the hollow of his hands, I'm, I am saved from whatever be tied me. In the hollow of his hands. In the hollow, in the hollow, in the hollow of his hands. Of his hands. In the hollow. Of God's hands, I am saved from which is and wizard forever in the hollow of his hands. There's someone there looking at me. A song came as I was singing this. And the meaning of that song is that you will know that the God of impossibility visited you. He goes, see what money the above. Jehovah me onyoma amata wo muni di ebube Jehovah mo onyoma it is a song that promotes a god of impossibility he said that when Moses was before the red sea and he was crying and God said stop that cry i will show forth every challenge or challenges before you is to show that God, He goes, see see what money he did above. A way, a way, Jehovah me, on your man, I matter what money he did above. Jehovah me, on your man. There's somebody, I, I'm hearing, oh, my way, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a better, my way, yeah. Isi nanyendo emewoya omereya nogeya. It means he has done great things. Hallelujah. I got to preach. I just got to preach. You know, at times I'm crazy. In quote, very crazy. Crazy for him. I don't mind. Forever. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, please let every family, every home. I have said something that and we prayed yesterday. The men were to pray about being the head and not the tail. But I got a revelation and I called the men, I'm sorry. I joined them and pleaded. I said, look, we need to change our prayer point today. And we prayed for our children. So if you're a man under the bless of our voice, please oh, make sure you pray for your child. And the prayer is simple because it is clear. That any person that we want to fight your blessing, your child is your blessing. A child is a blessing. And today, so I want to talk, the need to, to so if you need a team, I, I call it taking charge of your blessing. Taking charge of, of your blessing. Now, taking charge of your blessing. And if you want to be part of the service on Sunday, it will help you. Because tomorrow I'm going to still pray it. And, and we'll decree it that none of your children, your daughter, none of them will experience failure or shame or scandal. They must move forward in Jesus' name. Why do I want to concentrate on this about taking charge? You see, have you ever wondered where was Satan when Adam was created. We never heard about Satan. So, where was Satan when Adam was created? Or are you saying Satan was not there? Satan was there. Go to Genesis 2 and read from 6 to 7, sir. Genesis 2. Yes, sir. 6 to 7. Yes, sir. But there went up a mist from the earth, uh -huh. and watered the whole face of the ground. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man mm -hmm. of the dust of the ground, Go ahead. and breathed into his nostrils and the breath of life, uh -huh. and man became a living soul. Go ahead, sir. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward uh -huh. in Eden, uh -huh. and there he put man in charge, wh whom he had formed. Yes. And nine. 
Good. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. I'm okay. So did you hear anything about Satan? There. No. So when God formed man, gave Adam and gave Adam the, the spiritual audacity to name every name. So that is why I said Adam, man became a secondary factor to creation. God, God was the primary factor. But Adam gave name to everything that, gave, that God created. So man became, as it were, a secondary factor in creation. The, and Adam, nobody had about Satan. And Adam was free in the Garden of Eden, enjoying himself, giving names. Has time to think straight, to, to, to even give names. And God usually comes in the cool of the evening. To chat with Adam, I'm sure. Because the, uh, the Bible records that there was a time God came, Adam was hiding. So God was coming before. And Adam, where was Satan? And when God, but listen to what happened. Immediately God created where the blessing of Adam came. Go to Genesis chapter 2, read from 21 to 24, please. All right, sir. Genesis 2, 21. Yes. yes. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Uh -huh. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Yes. 22. Right. And the yes. rib which the Lord God had taken from man mm -hmm. made he a woman right. and brought her unto the man. Yes. And, he said, and well, Adam said, uh -huh. This is now bone of my bone. This is bone of my bone. And flesh of my flesh. This is flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Look, I call you a woman. Not if. I call you a woman. Because you are the bone of my bone. You are a blessing to me. Now I can have a companion. Now I can discuss not only with God at any time. I mean, it comes in once in a while. But I have somebody to reason with. To think about. This is my blessing. Guess what? What the next thing we had in Genesis chapter 3, go there. Satan appeared on the scene. Not to attack Adam. Not to attack the animals or the garden or the hand of his work. Just why did Satan come on the scene? Where were Satan? Well, I don't know if once I get into heaven and go to the, the day God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit and myself, because I will be the chief usher in, uh, in heaven. I'm the chief usher. The day we we'll go to look, how hell is working well, whether the fire is burning well. I will tell Satan, where were, why, why did you come at that time? Satan never appeared. But immediately the blessing of Adam appeared. Something happened. And we do. Genesis 3, uh -huh. from verse 1. Yes. Now the serpent which was more subtle uh -huh. than any beast of the field, uh -huh. which the Lord God had made, mm -hmm. and he said unto the woman, mm -hmm. Yeah, had God said, mm -hmm. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Mm -hmm. And the woman said unto the serpent, mm -hmm. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, mm -hmm. But of the fruit of the tree, mm -hmm. which is in the midst of the garden, mm -hmm. God had said. Now, if you follow that story, that was the beginning of the end. Satan attacked the mindset of Adam's blessing and derailed a course that, is, that has eternal implication for me and for you. But I want to bring out something there. Read verse 1 of that chapter 3, Genesis. Chapter 3, verse 1. Yes. Now the serpent, uh -huh. which was more subtle. Now, listen. The serpent that was more subtle. You see, Satan spirit, the devil, arrested the serpent knowing that he has a characteristic that is very powerful. Satan will use somebody around you that has a characteristic that will suit his purpose. That's why Satan can send people who can flatter you unto death. Satan can send men and women. He will look for those that have that, that characteristic. Satan will not bring somebody 
that has a weakness that you can easily know around you. No. He said that Satan looked for a subtle creation of God. It, it, equally to Satan looked for people around you and look for those who can easily get you. And in order to penetrate them, in order to get you. I want you to note that in life. That's why you pray for those around you. And because Satan can use any of them. Your, your enemy cannot get you. No. It's those around you. Those that you trust. Those that you relate with. Those who know your secret. There's, they are the one to undo you. Your enemy cannot undo you. Your enemy cannot poison you. Because he will not have the opportunity. It's your friend whom you trust that can be in a, a privileged position to undo you. Now, now, why did Satan not attack Adam? Adam was not a blessing to God. Adam was created by God. But look at, if you go to look for, when Jesus came on the scene, Satan came after him. Why? Jesus was, is a blessing to me and to God. Jesus is the son of God. The blessing of God. Adam was the creator, the creation of God. Jesus was the blessing. That is why Satan did not attack Adam. Mm -mm. He attacked the blessing. The one that he did go to Matthew 16, 16. Because Jesus is the son of God. He went after him. Many people, they attack your children, your son, or your daughter. Why are they wayward? Why are they disobedient? Why are they into drugs? Why are they into things I cannot even mention? Why are they doing that? These children want to do well. Every child don't want to be into drugs. No child wants to be in prison. But children are there. Some are even helpless. They don't know what is pursuing them. It could be as a result of father or mother. And somebody is fighting you. The problem is not God. They are attacking me and you. Satan is fighting me and you in order to get at God. That is why Satan fought Jesus. Not to eat Adam. He fought Jesus Christ. Because as Jesus is the blessing unto him and unto me. Jesus, oh yeah, 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 okay, go, go, oh, I, I can hear now. Jesus is the activator of increase, not Adam. Go to Matthew what? Matthew 16, 16. Yes, I'm with you, I'm with you. And Simon Peter answered uh -huh. and said, uh -huh. Thou art the Christ, uh -huh. the Son of the living God. The Son of the living God. And that's why in Matthew 4, go back to Matthew 4. Because he's the Son of God, Satan attacked him. He came after Jesus as a child. In fact, if you begin from Matthew 2, Satan wanted to kill Jesus as a child. How many people are pursuing you and your blessing? You, your wife is your blessing. Satan will fight your wife. Your husband is your blessing. Satan will fight your husband. That's why marriages are into all kinds of all kinds of uh, situation now. Marriages now, ah, ma, ma, ma. Satan is having a field day in marriage. He's having a field day because it's end time. And we don't want to sit down and address it and fight it. And because when you destroy a home, you destroy a family. When you destroy a home, it has impact on the children, whether you like it or not. I can't deceive you. Yes, I want to. Matthew 2. two. Yes, yes. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Yeah, so if you read that Matthew 2 or 2, Satan came after Jesus in order to destroy the star. The star. Because he didn't go after Adam. One, and Jesus is the blessing that will bring other blessing. 
He knew. Satan has tried you and failed. Then he will come after your seed. That is why if you watch, if you go to Genesis 12, <laughs> I'm taking you, I'm taking you to somewhere. That is why we pray about our children, that any person that wants to fight you, fight your children because of you. Some of you, what your children are going to is because of you. And you sit down there and be drinking and be and be taking chief taxi tattoo from one region and the other and fooling yourself. That child, you you as a father, you have a spiritual right over your father. I mean over your children. And you have a you should be in a position to show them not only not only um 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 um, um not only um material uh, um uh, responsibility socially economically spiritually is the bottom line yes i'm with you sir uh, genesis 12. yes yeah, from verse 3. and i will bless them uh -huh. that bless thee Go and ahead. curse him that cursed thee uh -huh. and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed i'm with you and the, so abraham departed as the lord had spoken unto now, him. so now if you okay, go to genesis 22 god was blessing abraham and his seed so that's why God says, I'm the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and the God of Israel. Why? When God blesses you, he's not just, it should run along. Yes, I'm with you. Genesis 22. Yeah. And it came to pass yes. that after these things that yes. God did tempt Abraham. No, begin from 16, he will, because of time, 16. Sir. 16. Yes. And said, yes. by myself uh -huh. have I sworn, uh -huh. said the Lord. And with you. For because thou hast done this thing, yes, sir. and hast not withheld thy son, uh -huh. thy only son, uh -huh. then in blessing I will, uh -huh. I will bless thee. Uh -huh. And in multiplying, uh -huh. I will multiply thy seed. Go ahead. As the stars of the heaven. I will multiply your seed. As the stars of heaven, yes, and as the sand which is upon the seashore. Now, if you follow, your blessing should not only anchor on you. If Satan blesses you, if you enter all those secret and unsecret things, they enter. Your blessing only follow you, and when you die, it ends with you. <laughs> the blessing from above, from God, goes through generational life. The blessing from man or from devil. Or from the powers of all God ends with you. Why? Because Satan does not have the power of multiplicity. He has the power to take from A and give B. He ends there. Because he's not the originator. He's just an impositor. He takes. Your children. Are you fighting over your children? Is it like is it lamentation? Lamentation something. Three, he said, I mean, two, something. He says what? Two, nineteen. Lamentation, two, nineteen. He said, after the, after Jeremiah. He said, cry after the life of your children. He said, keep night watch. Some of you are keeping beer watch. I'm going to party. I'm going to eat. You know, at times I look at our people. I don't know why our people eat too much. That's just some of them. If you see their neck, if you see their neck, even though my own two is there. <laughs> our neck, you know, even their neck, I means I'm wrong. Our neck, if you see our neck, you eat. You eat, and there's some of them with big tummy. I'm even breathing from it. I'm in London. I'm in Germany. I'm in Dublin. I'm in America. As a father, what are you doing for your children. Do you fast over them? Do you pray over them? Do you go to their schools to pray? Some are uh, in school. Some don't even know where their children are. I'm with you. Lamentation, second yeah. chapter, verse 19. I'm with you. Arise, uh -huh. cry out in the night, uh -huh. in the beginning of the watches, uh -huh. pour out thine heart uh -huh. like water uh -huh. before the face of the Lord. Bef uh -huh. Lift up thine hand uh -huh. towards him uh -huh. for the life of thy young children. For the life of your young children. Because your children, they are your blessing. First Samuel 8. First Samuel 8. Or rather, before that, first Samuel 8, go to first Samuel 17, 34. The lion and bear did not attack 
the sheep and the cattle and ram of uh, David. But immediately a lamb appeared, a new blessing came. They had an addition. The lion and bear came after. The enemy fights your increase. It fights if your wife is a blessing. The enemy will fight you and your it will fight your wife. So that's why if your husband is a blessing, that's why women who are wise pray over their husband. And that's why in Jesus' sanctuary, our women pray alone just only for families, for their husbands. Men prayed here yesterday only for our wives and children. And that is what it should be. So that they can achieve their purpose in life. And I thank God for today. I thank God for Jesus' sanctuary worldwide. I thank God. That none will die untimely. Not one. Not one. Not one. It's only what God has said it is over and out. I'm with you, sir. First Samuel 8. Yeah. No, first Samuel 17, 1734. 17, 17, 30, 1 Samuel 1734. Yes, sir. All right. It reads. Yes, sir. Yes. And David said unto Saul, Aha! Thy servant kept his father's sheep. Aha! Uh -huh. And there came a lion uh -huh. and a bear. Uh -huh. And took a lamb out of the flock. But where was the lion since? And bear. They didn't come. Mm -hmm. Immediately there was increase. They kept. First Samuel 8, uh, because of time. First Samuel, First Samuel 8, 1 to 3. First Samuel 8. That's why the pastor's children come under, under attack. Every ally, the children were useless. Samuel, his own children too, became useless because of time. First Samuel 8, verse 1. Okay. And it came to pass, yes. when Samuel was old, yeah. he made two his sons, judges over Israel. Uh -huh. Now the name of the first son was Joel. I I'm okay, Joel, because of time. Okay. I'm closing. All right. I don't know who I I'm speaking to, but I pray this prayer. That your children will not bring pain to you. Amen. Any man or woman projecting pain. That want to fight our children. Is it my children? Is it your children? Is it the children of God? Children who are innocent. And people want, because of their parents, to, to make them to cry. They let them and their own children cry. In, in Jesus' name. I have said so. In Jesus' name. Make sure, if you are around, make sure you partake in the blessing that has come. And God bless you. It is well. Oh, the lines have already opened, yes. Uh, we have the first caller from Birmingham is Simon. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Simon, hello. sir. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you, Pastor. How are you? Fine, sir. I'm with you, sir. Good man. Okay, I would like the viewers to um, go to, to the internet and go to www.exposingchristianity.com. You are a liar. Your word is a liar. My word. Come from Jews. Yes, it comes from Jews. Okay. You need to open your eyes and research and do your study. Uh, you are a liar. Wait, wait, wait. Let All me you know. do is collect money okay. of people and they are spiritually blind. Is that so? Read no, I like him. I like that him. Slave master gives you. Slave master gives you this book. And who's, you who's slave? Who slave master give us? Rubbish. The Englishman did not give you Bible. Your Exposing name is Simeon. Are you are you English? ExposingChristianity.com. No, because you are you are an enemy. Your name is not Simeon. The Englishman did not give us. There's no slave master in the Bible. Don't buy any story. But God bless you, sir. It is well. Even though he greeted me, and he's well with you, my brother. May God deliver you. That is my prayer. But it is well, you have added value to this program. You have added value. At least I want this program to be played to. I will play it in, in Africa. Because people will know that some people who call in to, to praise and to say what God has done. Imagine this man, cool voice, and he has a good voice. I wish I had your voice, sir. It, <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, but thank you so much, sir. And God bless you and richly, richly bless you. Let people, and uh, it is where the Jesus that touched me, he will touch you in Jesus' name. This guy has made my day. So, uh, Simeon, take this. 
God bless you. Keep fighting God. Keep on. Because so that keep on fighting him. Yeah, okay, in Jesus' name. Or a hand from Italy. Anne. Anne from Italy. Hello. Oh, I hope I've not missed that color. Oh my God, Anne from Italy. Yes. Okay. Yes, I will. <laughs> One of your colors. Yes. <laughs> of you yes. Mr. Joseph from Germany Rice. Okay. He said, Thank you for the message of today, Pastor. Okay. God continually bless you and more wisdom on you and your ministry. In Jesus' name. Amen. I was looking for a job. I wrote you for prayer requests. Oh. And you sent me prayer points. I yes. prayed. And glory be to God. I have a job now. Wow. I also sow my seed in your ministry. Please. Please, Pastor. Okay. Pray for my brother in law in Nigeria who ah. is down with a stroke. I will pray. And heavy headache. I look, <laughs> look, to God be every glory. You can see opposite. <laughs> That's right. Simeon, please send me money. You, you said I look for money. Bring it. That, that's why I will be on air now. If not, how can you have opportunity to abuse myself? So I need the money. So that you can equally propagate our line. Of course. But sir, I thank God for you. We give all the glory. We thank God for God has done it for you. If I were you, that new job, go inside God as if we are. Soil, whatever you have done in this world. I use your, you and your, I use your brother as a point of contact to keep and prosper you. Let healing come to him. Every medication, they must work. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. All right? Uh, another of your viewers, right? Yes. He said, good day, man of God. Please help me with this dream. I am my elder brother. Welcome somebody like an American music star. Okay. As my elder brother was helping carrying the man's bag out of the car, the man asked me to call my junior brother to sweep the compound. So I said I can sweep it, and that is when I woke up. Wow. Uh, well, well, I think um, I think you, you just pray over it, but I think you just like sweep the compound. I don't know if, if it's yeah. To sweep a place is cleansing, of course. Mm -hmm. But I but he said he can sweep he it. He can sweep so it. So it means that whatever you can do, there's something you need to do in your father's house. If it is prayer, you pray. I'm sure, and ask God to pray. And if I were you, you can. Take a step further and try to uh, uh, cleanse your foundation, if there's anything in your foundation. All right? I thought we have a color there. Hello? Okay, we don't, we don't have a color uh, right now. Oh, my God. I will need the, yes, yes, we have another thing. Another of your viewer, yes. Sister Uzako, right. Okay. He said, please, Pastor Uzo, please pray for my daughter and her husband that married no less than one year, and the marriage is bitter. No peace. Wow. No, no, less than. Well, it, it doesn't take years. It can take hours for marriage, though. But let them begin to pray. At times, too, the marriage that began such way ends well. So all, all, all they need to do is to pray and be prayerful. Finish. Tell your sister to be prayerful because marriage is spiritual. And like I said, but let me just answer Anne from Italy. Anne, are you back? Yes. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Now, yes, you called us. Yes, yes. Yeah. Your TV set is open. I mean, it's on. You can't be hearing yourself as you speak. You have this interference, Anne. Because of time, many yeah. people are queuing up. I'm with you, Anne. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Yeah, reduce the volume of your TV set and speak. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. Anne, speak now. Anne. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, sir. give me another caller. Anne, if you call, you reduce the volume of your TV set. Just let, because there is a caller there waiting. Is that team? Yeah, Hello? speaking. God bless you, sir. Yeah, I'm with you. Thank you. Yes, sir. I uh, appreciate uh, your wonderful work again. Thank you're you. still doing it. You're still pushing the power of darkness to yeah. love, mm -hmm. and we are proud of that. I was just going to say to Simon and those who have the same mind with him to know that St. Paul himself, yeah. uh, uh, Jesus, was not from Europe. He was not slave master. Exactly. Even some Jews. Some yeah. Jews have not still 
accepted Jesus Christ, exactly. they're still struggling. Exactly. Uh, they, there's no Christianity from the white man. It's the, from the a life from the future of the church. Exactly. exactly. I wish you would read more, exactly. but I wish also, just like St. Paul, that God would open his eyes exactly. one day. Amen. Oh, please do not discourage. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. Keep, 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 keep me and my, friend, my family in prayer. God yeah. bless you, sir. No, you, Jesus, I, amen. amen. It is well with you, sir. I mean, Amen. you you have just said it all. He just Amen. said it all. The white man did not bring the Bible. He, whether the Bible even came from the white man, what is wrong about it? Don't care where the Bible came from. It's the word of God. So at times I don't I, I, I don't get it. But you care. You you stay in in white man's land, white man's car, white man's house, white man's technology. You know, you know, the, you know. Some of us have a way of living in denial. There's no white or black before God. We have the same blood, and the blood are red. The blood, white blood. That's why when you ha when you need blood, they don't look for a white man blood for a, for a black man or a black man blood. Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Thank you so much, sir, and God bless you, Chamberlain from Ireland. How are you, Chamberlain? I'm, I'm fine. Good evening, Pastor Uzo. I'm with you, my brother. All right. Uh, thank you for your undiluted uh, message. Uh, uh, we, we are receiving it, and we are happy for it. Amen. Uh, I, I just want to tell you about uh, the fourth caller, who is uh, who is Simeon, a fake name. Yeah, of course. Uh, th there is one thing I observe. Yeah. You see, this is the second or third time I watch a caller abusing you or talking something contrary to your preaching. Yes. One thing I observe is that that voice is the same. It's like uh, your prayers and your preaching is hitting their evil kingdom. Yes. And uh, they, they are not happy about it. At all. So they are spiritually, but they can't achieve anything spiritually. So they are using a means of calling you with a different name yes. uh, uh, to, to, to scare away people yes. or to say something yes. that will make people to believe that you are one of them. Yes. Uh, we, we know what is happening. I and know. thank God your, your, your preaching yes. is opening our eyes Amen. and we are praying ourselves for you Amen. as you are praying for us. Amen. Thank you. Keep on what you are doing. God is using you. Amen. Nobody can stop you. You are unstoppable. Thank you. No matter what forces they are into yeah. their power is in vain. Amen. Thank you and God bless you and your ministry. Oh wow. This is a million pounds, a million pounds. I claim it. Chamberlain, I claim it. Simeon, I wish is your right name. I will come <laughs> to eat with you in Birmingham. Then I will bind that demon. Boca Alexander. Then I will shakara. I will bring you under under auction, I'm telling you. <laughs> and in fact, I'm planning program for Birmingham. If next year, I will come there. In fact, Birmingham, our whole program. Who no no? London has tried me. So, <laughs> I'm, you see, London, they have gone under. Birmingham, you will soon go under. <laughs> and from Italy, how are you? Um, oh, fine, are you back? Okay. <laughs> I'm with you. Yes, I'm in prayer. Good. I'm praying because yeah, what? sometimes, sometimes you move, sometimes a block problem here and there. He says you need prayer for what? Um. I need prayer. I need prayer. Sometimes okay. up, sometimes down. 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 Ah, okay. it's good now. So, so me sometimes up and. Sometimes down. I woke up at times. Some from a few weeks ago, I was sharing it on air. I woke up. I was just down. I couldn't sing. Song came by force out of my voice. Song came, bam! And I and I joined. I knew it was the Holy Spirit. Sang by force. About two weeks, I was a bit down. Something happened. I felt oh, I felt so disappointed. So life is up and down, and that makes it interesting. But my prayer is that the, the, in your up and down journey, you will not fall and, and remain there. 
Jesus Christ fell seven times before he got to Calvary. But he was standing. To fall, to be down, is not the, is, is not the issue. Is to remain down forever is the problem. And that it will not be your portion in Jesus' name. That is why you study the Bible. As you read the Bible, situation comes up and down. It is like that because life is up and down. It is never smooth. That is not life. But it is where with you are. And let God help you in the up and down journey in Jesus' name. All right, Sunday from Germany. How are you, sir? Sunday. Well, I'm fine, sir. Good evening, sir. I thank you and I bless you and your ministry and your family for the work you are doing. Yes, Excuse me, sir. My, eye, my left eye is yes. uh, having problem. I cannot even see with it. Wow. And they were telling me to go and do operation, but I'm afraid because uh, it's not easy. Yes. And so I want prayer, sir. Okay, I'll, I will give you prayer that if you do the operation, it will work. Okay, sir. Thank because you, Because at times it's good to follow medical advice. So okay, sir. So if they say, if it is cataract, I'm not a doctor now, but I knew my mother at 80-something. She did operation and she's seen better now. So I'm going okay, to pray. Sir. Every operation that you would do, we are, we are saying that Satan will not have hand in it if that operation, if that operation is necessary. But Father, Amen. you know it, it all. You give it the doctors the knowledge and the opticians the knowledge to in order to work on us. So Father, there will not be any mistake in Jesus' most powerful name. I pray. Amen. So don't fear. You got time. Fear is from Satan. Uh, if you if it is absolutely necessary, God will see you through in Jesus' name. All right, Adam from Germany. How are you, sir? Adam. Hello, Good Adam. Afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor. Hello. Y yes, sir. How are Good you, sir? No, but sir. Please, I need prayer from you. Okay. Because I have not got the wife. I've been looking for a wife for quite a long time. Wow. How yes, old? I have written to you several times. and. How old are you now, sir? I'm 42 years. Ah. You don't have a wife? I have got married and I have divorced up to now. I have not got a wife. I'm but, looking for, I have not got. Yeah, but have you children? Have you children in your first marriage? Yes. Huh? Yes. How many? One. Ah, you need to, you need to add them. I, I, Father, in the name of Jesus, the, the Bible says he that finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtained favor from God. Let God hear your cry. Your desire is good. And let God cause a good woman to come your way. In Jesus' most powerful name, I pray. Adam, relax. A, 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 women are there now. Ah, and men are there now. Kilo de, ah, you better pray well. Oh. It is well. All right, I'm with yes, you. one of your viewers right, sir. He said, good afternoon, Pastor. Yes. Very powerful message today, yes. and I learned a lot. May God continually bless you and your family. Amen. And Pastor, I'm asking you to pray for my sister, looking okay. for the fruit of the womb. Oh, no, I'm going to pray for her because of time. Yes. I use this young man, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. A woman. A woman, I use her as a point of contact to mothers, families, or, or homes. Your parents gave birth to you, so you must add to the to the population, because God says increase and multiply. For that, we're asking for intervention. There's somebody there. Tell your sister she will hear a cry of children in her, in her life. It's as simple as it is. I got to leave here. Tomorrow is Sunday. They're asking me to run, but I have to run now. Tomorrow is Sunday. Go to church, pray, and it is well. And lift up our friends who are not born again, like Simeon. Let Jesus touch him. The Yibo man is not our problem. The white man is not our problem. G Devil is your problem. And God bless you. And bye-bye.